So Aristotle is not trying to answer the question, how are your moral beliefs justified? Right? He doesn't really answer that question very much. Nor is he uh, dealing with uh, whose interests are most important. Frankly, his view um, kind of doesn't really bring it up. <laughs> it doesn't really bring it up. Rather, he's uh, trying to answer the question, he's following Epicurus here, he's trying to answer the question, what has moral worth? Right? What's worth having in your life? What's worth pursuing in your life? And the answer to his question, to, to the, for, for Aristotle, the answer to this question is happiness. Right? Remember, Epicurus said pleasure. Aristotle's change tactics, he says happiness. Now, this might seem like the same thing. <laughs> Not so. Aristotle's doing something a little bit different than what we mean by happiness. Just like Epicurus meant something different by pleasure than what we think about pleasure. He thought it was tranquility. Aristotle is going to say happiness uh, you know, when you talk about happiness, it's different than what we mean. Right? Uh, it's going to be different than some fleeting feeling that causes you to smile. That's not, that's not what he's dealing with. All right? Happiness, you know, it's also translated as something like fulfillment or more, uh, probably more uh, uh, appropriate, uh, eudaimonia, which is good spirit, well-being. Yeah. So for Aristotle, what's worth having? is happiness.